Hello there, guys. Well, we're going to try something a little different. And we're going to try to make my family's farm right over there. We have to cheat in some money, so let's get started. Ah, first, first things first, we got to sell some equipment to get some money to buy a chunk of land. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And I, I started on this project uh, about, uh, well, about a couple hours ago, gathering mods and uh, seeing just how it's going to look, and I think it's gonna work out pretty good so we're gonna give it a try here and uh, see how it turns out my PlayStation is being really slow right now I apologize for that but uh, we're gonna sell all this stuff and uh, get some money I've decided to choose Walker's map because it's as close as you can get to Saskatchewan and it's directly south of us so I'll just sell all this stuff that gives us 377 out of 1299 slots a million five so let's buy some land now this is the area where I chose um, the family farm to be because it's got the power lines already through here which we do have power lines running through our property and we're going to build the farm basing on this area right here I, w I thought about using Welker's um, Quonset here for our one part of our farm but I don't think that's going to really work. It does have the junk laying around, which where it needs to be, which is a good thing. We maybe should do that. I'm not sure. Um, this road here would be in the way. It would have to all be erased. And then, uh, yeah, so, hmm. But that would be a good representation with the junk around here but uh, I downloaded a uh, placeable decoration pack so we're gonna buy this field first and uh, cheat in some money and uh, we still m may do that idea where their silo is part of the farm and then we'll have our our road come in here and then into the farm here which would work um, but the power lines are over here which really kind of helps the flow of the whole thing so hmm and this road would just wouldn't work we'd have to paint over it so let's cheat in some money and then uh, have go have a look and see if that'll work for us. So we'll just put in this corner over here. We're going to need lots of money. For landscaping and stuff, it's very expensive, so... We'll uh, turn up time a bit here. Turn traffic off. Uh, on. And I think that's all we need right now. We're going to turn plant growth off. Uh, don't need to worry about any of that. Miles, acres, yeah, okay. 
I think that's all we need. So we don't have hardly any money, but we're going to start landscaping here right now. So let's have a look here. Yeah, this is not really going to work because we can't remove this. We can remove this tree, but we can't remove these silos, which are not there in real life. This isn't here in real life, so I think we'll just leave that and we'll start fresh on our field right over here. It's got this nice dip down here in the field where in real life our yard does kind of dip down like this and our houses sit on this hill right here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, just do some landscaping where I'm going to flatten this so I can raise this up a bit. Not too much, but we do want a ridge there so it dips down like this to about here and then it'll level off in the yard. So We'll go from here and we'll just extend this out a bit kind of like that to the power lines and like that. So there, this would be the driveway into my parents' yard right here. We'll just put that like that for now. And wait till we get some money so we can buy this field because uh, we need to make a road right here. This is going to be the new uh, instead of this one over here. We could have used this field too, but it's, yeah, we'll just use this one because it's got this nice dip in here already. And we're going to smoothen this out here as well so it's not so blocky. Kind of like that. We'll uh, up our strength here. Uh, I didn't want that there. Let's just get rid of that. Yeah, okay. That's going to work. Oh, we'll smoothen this off here. Perfect. And this will be the uh, driveway that goes into the farmyard. Gravel right through here. Now we have a big hump in the road here, so we'll just smoothen that out. I don't know if we can. Uh, yeah, smoothen that out like that. This road is kind of lumpy, so this kind of is going to be good for that. Let's smoothen that out like that. And we'll just smoothen this out here. Okay, now we can buy this chunk of land here. So we can make our road going this way. And we're going to buy this piece of land here too. So this whole block here, right through, right along here, will be our farm field and yard. Now 
Oops. Okay, so now we can... Oh, we didn't buy... We didn't buy this chunk of land here yet. Hey, Stuart, how's it going? And I uh, don't know if we have enough. We don't have enough money for that yet, so. Okay, so we're going to paint our road here. It's not very wide of a road, but it's going to give us a good representation here. Let's see if we can keep this fairly straight. And I'll connect to this road here, so. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm just building my real farm in real life. And going to have some fun with it, so. Okay, first things first, we're going to place down my dad's house. Now his house, the satellite dish kind of faces like that. But I'm going to spin this around because it does have the patio in front, which we do have. And we're just going to put it right about... So I look fairly straight. Right there. Okay. So we got my dad's house. That's as close as about the thing close as I could get. Uh our house is browns and uh it's got the satellite dish and a patio in front, a little porch, yeah, that's perfect. And we're gonna paint in a little uh walkway here little sidewalk that he has kinda like that and then it goes there's a little pad here and it goes to the back of the house like that okay so along here there is pine trees and hedges there's a hedge in front here so I think we're gonna work on that uh, let's go decoration let's get past these letters uh, let's see they're decorated bushes my mom's got some cotton nesters in the front there right by the road and I think These will be a good representation of those. We'll go with these ones. Nope. Maybe these ones. They're right along the road here. Like this. And they go all the way put it all right to the corner there now let's fill this in a bit they're a little bit taller than this but uh, at least we get the general idea kinda just along there like that Okay, now we need some pine trees. They're fairly big. Uh, probably not that big. Probably about that that big. They're they are quite large. And they run right along the road here. Like that.
And there's not that many of them left. They pretty well go right to the edge of uh, my dad's house here like that. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. This four meter hedge here. We got yeah, it's it's pretty tall. Uh, yeah, like this. There's a little gap there, and then there's a hedge here that goes along here all the way. like that and what we can do is fill in some of the gaps with a smaller tree here like this we'll just put some trees in there to fill it in a bit get rid of some of those that went down there hedge we gotta get rid of as well this one right here okay okay back to this I'll just fill it in kind of like that Don't see this big gaps here everywhere. Anyways, you get the general idea. There's bushes around. Okay, what's next? Um, let's have a look here. It's looking pretty good so far. Okay, we need another... Uh, I don't know if this house has a sleep trigger or not, but there's another house behind here. Oh, and it's not going to allow us to put it down, so. Let's go with the decoration. I don't know if there's any decorative houses we can use. Uh, we could use uh, Leg Arms as trailer. That might work. Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's use Leg Arms' as trailer for uh, my grandma's house. That's uh, being worked on by my brother. There we go. It's not perfect, but you get the general idea. Okay, now we can paint in some grass. Nice grass in front here. 
all through here. Roundhouse. The last time I did this uh, a few hours ago, I made the yard a little bit too big. So I'm just going to go a bit smaller with it this time. Paint this in. And there's not much grass around here. It's basically all dirt. Because my brother has uh, got a big construction project going around here. So we're just going to uh, put some mud around here. It's kind of all messy and dirty around here like that. He's fixing the foundation on this house. So there's just a lot of mud and crud and stuff around here. Him and his, see, he's even got the wood, his wood pile. He's running a a wood stove into the basement to heat it up for his his dogs. So, uh, okay, now um, what we're gonna do is along here. Just gonna paint in this little patch here. It's where my mom's little garden used to be. We'll just leave that marked to like that so I can take a little plow and uh, cultivate this area. In between the two houses, there's a little path. So we'll, we'll paint this in like this. It just comes right around here like this. Right along the edge here. Kind of out in, into this area. Now, this area is, i got to work on before anything else before I could start adding things around it so uh, that's gonna be in I think it's decoration as well it is a uh, little patio area that my brothers made out there and here it is a little chilling grill It kind of sits right here. It's actually a little bit further in. There's a power pole like right there, but it's, that's too far away. So um, we'll just put it right there. We'll leave the power poles where they are. Just not a big deal. They run through the trees there anyway, so. There is a little patio area. And he's got uh, stacks of wood right in front. All around here. Kind of like that. I'm going to put this stack of wood kind of like that. Okay, what else? 
Let's see what else can find it in here for details. Wooden planks. Um, a stump. Yeah, I can put a stump here. Outhouse. There used to be an outhouse, uh, right? There used to be an outhouse right here, actually. So anyway, we'll get some more trees in. Now that we got that area sorted. I'm going to use some uh, maple trees my dad's got along the driveway there. It's right on the corner here. Kind of like that. Just kind of go all the way through here. There's a little kind of a gap there, and then there's a tree just behind there, and a couple more. like that and now we'll put in uh, put in my dad's car shed this would be a good representation right here there we should really get a vehicle so we can drive around oh, that'll be the next step my dad's truck oh uh, yeah it's, he's got a single cab uh, it's kind of a Forest green. My design color is a little bit lighter than that. Kind of like that, you know. Uh, he doesn't have very aggressive tires on it. Um, front grille is kind of. I'll go with that. Uh, there's no running boards on it. And there's no front grill like that, no grill protector. It doesn't have a plow mount on it. Uh, lighting. No LED bar. Kits. Yeah, I'll go with that. We'll go with rounded mirrors, standard. All right, we'll buy that. Now I'll get the uh, bed for it. And that would be just a regular trail boss. Kind of like that, I guess. Mm. 
it's got no cover on it. Uh, I'll just put a toolbox in there. Standard without vinyls. Rear bumper is steel. So I'll get that. Pretty sure I turned off. No, oh, there we go. Now this will be able to drive around in. Uh, if I reset back to Walker's farm, then I won't have to walk. <laughs> I could just jump to this truck while we're doing this. Okay, we'll do some more painting over here, get this road sorted out. There's a power pole in our way, but we don't care. This is just for fun. And the road's going to go all the way to this corner. Like that. Now we're just going to make a, a border right here with trees. Well, we can even just do it with grass so that I know where it is. Because so we don't want that other yard there part of the field. So we'll just go right across here like this, straight as we can. Now I'll buy this field and buy this field. There we go. So now nothing's in our way. Let's cut right straight across here. There. So this is our field. On um, here's our farm. So now from here, the the yard, it goes straight here. I just want to check the uh, size of it. That seems about right. I will just cut across here like that. It's all gravel in here. Let's put it all shaped like that. We just won't pay attention to that power pole there. Okay, now we can place our shop. Now, yes. Okay, well, I'm going to have to use one of these. Four door curves, steel shed with windows. Yeah, we don't want an open one. Kind of like that. It's perfect.
I mean, that's really not that far away from here. It's kind of like, yeah, right there. I'll put it close to this power pole because we don't want that in the way. Kind of like that. But it's more lined up with the edge like over here. So we'll drop it there. That's car shed being built. <laughs> <coughs> Just like that. You know, for here we'll have to uh, smoothen this out here. in more gravel. Kind of like that. Along here is grass. There, just like that. Dirt here. Now we have some trees to put in over here. Those are a bit too big. Yeah, kind of like that. Across here. What I should do is move this house back to over here. That's where it should be. So, yeah, I guess we'll have to do that. Now, under decoration. Kind of move the houses out of position. Yeah, right there is better. Right about there.
That's about the best I can do. Something like that, yeah. So now I'll just fix our little mess up here. Paint grass here. And then the mud goes around like this. Yeah, like that. Mud, dirt, whatever you want to call it. And then the path would come here through like that. I think I'll just paint all this like this so I can make mum's garden area like that. <coughs> and we'll get some, yeah, let's kind of like this. Kind of wood chippy. Like that. Okay, so put the other house there. Trees in front here. There's a little pathway here, and then this building should be moved further down then, but we'll just leave it for now. That's basically what it looks like uh, in real life. Somewhat. I don't like these hedges here. I think I'm just going to get rid of them. I don't like them. We might as well do that now. Before we get too far into this and there's 8 million trees everywhere. Okay. Well, let's get rid of that. Yeah, those decorative bushes can stay. Okay, so that's good. This ditch is a little bit too thick. But we'll leave it for now. Okay, we need more trees put in. Get down! Oh, that's cat. I should just get rid of those letters. I was going to do some lettering at the end, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, now we'll just go with the... There. Like that. Kind of like that. Okay, so yeah, there's the uh, entrance. Oh, there, oh, this way you get out to the farm. So, so up here we got the car shed. Now we gotta add some more details. Miscellaneous. Um, we do have a little. I want to put this down first. Um, I'll face it this way, because this is the way it should go. So 
actually really close to this car shed here. But well, we'll just line it up like that for now. in line with the shop but it's over a bit right there okay let's see if there's anything else in here we can use um <laughs> Yes, there is one of these little sheds. It's not really open like this, but uh, I'm going to use it anyway. Uh, maybe we'll go in front of buildings. Maybe that would be a better representation. Um, no. No, that's not right. Uh, yeah, we'll go back to miscellaneous. I'll just use one of these sheds over here. It's kind of sitting right about there. We'll get that built before we uh, put in anything else here. In real life, this building is only about this big. It's not as big as this in real life, but it's uh, close enough. <laughs> Watch that get built. It's just a representation, just to say it's there. Okay, now we should smooth in this area here. not quite a hump there it is kind of uneven up in this area so that's a good representation oh yes before we do that then we want to put in our uh, decoration our fuel tanks I want to get those in before I start adding trees and all that other kind of stuff because those can go in after oh boy this pack has got all kinds of things okay And this would go right in front like that now we need to put a pile of uh, junk or trash right here That's pretty small. Let's see if we can find something bigger. Yeah, something like this. Like that. And beside the shop here as well. 
There's always junk laying around on any, any farm. Before I get too far ahead of myself, uh, what else are we going to put in? Uh, we got no stones. Chairs and tables we can put over here with the this set here. Like that. It's just details. Um old wooden pole. Here we go. Now that pole would go right about Here. Trying to think of is there any other poles? There is a pole in the yard here, but it's a flag pole, so I don't worry about that. And there kind of is a pole right here. Okay, I guess we'll skip night here. And then continue on. Sleep 12 hours. <laughs> okay, now I want to go with decoration. those trees. And we'll go right about here. These trees kind of go straight this way and then kind of like that. Actually, further than that, they go all the way up here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put in a our road that goes through here, kind of up this way, to where I think our our silos are restoring right now, and because then it curves off here. Right about here is where our garbage pit is. So I'm I'm gonna make a hole here. Just like that. We have a road that comes. Let's see if I can do this. Right from here. Curves around this way. That's too big. And like down like this. And there's our 
garbage pile. <laughs> now from here, there's trees that run. I'm just going to paint a path for the trees so I know where they are. This kind of goes around like this. We won't make it too big. Um, straight to the road. So now we can put in our trees around there and border that area. Now let's use maples. Kind of like that. And there's a few more like, dotted in here. And right here is where we have four silos. We haven't moved them yet, which we are going to be moving them, but I'm just going to drop some. Just so a person gets the idea. Now we'll just use four of these, I guess. One's right by the garbage pit there. It's right along the road. And we got one facing. Uh, now I can use bin extensions, yeah, so that'd be better. We got one there. And there's two over here, kind of. I can get these to work. Oh, there's one. And we got one over here like that. Now up here there's an old cattle shed, so... Might as well put that in. We'll go with a small one. If we can fit it in here. Somehow. Yeah, it's kind of be getting to be right where our cattle area is going to be. So the fence is going to come like there. But this is not working because of these stupid power poles and stuff, so. We're going to put it on the hill. Where it works anyway. And maybe what I could do is um, we do have a small this easy shed would be a good representation of it. It's a little too big. But we do have stuff stored in here so drop that there. And then there's another small shed over here which we'll just use this one here and that's kind of tucked back here like this yeah it's kind of on the hill right in line with that shed there so Just uh, we'll just paint a line here. Kind of goes down like that. 
we can put in some fencing after for decoration. Be all grass in here. actually right here just cuts off there it's all grass here the grass kind of curves around here like this and like that okay now we got to put in let's see if we can fit these two here and um, they won't go there that smoothing this down a bit Around here, so. All right from here now what we're going to do is a bit of a road that goes along this edge here and it curves around like this This gravel, so kind of like that. Yeah, that's too wide there, so let's have to sh shave it off here with grass, I guess. Put in a grass border here. Get rid of all this canola. <laughs> okay, what else can we do? Okay, we got, uh, yeah, that's there. Garbage pit there. We can add in more details as we go. Um, so that's the gist of uh, the main part of the farm. Now we can work on the second part of our yard. And to do that, we're going to go to uh, sheds. 
Now we gotta put in our silo, our quonset. It's gonna be right about. It's not really that far. It's pretty all in line with the uh, cattle shed there. Kind of like right there. Let's put that there. Don't need any other buildings there. I need a silo. Uh, no. That's about the best representation of our silo we got. It's sitting right. Put in line with the corner. It sits about right there. Perfect. So now from here I know that I can paint grass here and here. It's all grass through here. And we kind of have, the way we used to have this, this is all grass here too, so let's just get rid of this. Grass all the way around here. And there's the uh, grass through here. Goes around. Like that. area through here is not that big right currently because um, there's a lot of junk laying right here and tractor all over us here and trees and stuff like that so that's about what that area looks like the area where our uh, snow plow bracket is sitting right here Oh yeah, the trees, yeah, the trees, we'll add in first, I guess, and that goes right from this edge here, all the way around, not really all the way around, right to about here, yeah, like that, and there's no other trees down here. Except we have to switch to... They're pretty big. Um, directly across here. I guess to be in line with this silo here. Oh, I didn't want to drop that there. Go directly across to the road. And there's a big bluff of trees right here. I don't want to go too crazy like that, but we'll go with that for now. Alright, I'll just paint some grass here for a border, so I know what I'm doing here. I'm just going to curve around like this. in our grass border here just like that see in here is a very very large pond it's 
sitting right about here. It's a big slough. Now with our pond store, we can fill it up. So while it's sculpting, I guess we just smoothen this out. I think I made it a little too deep, so. There's not much water in it right now anyway, so... I think that is a good representation of it. It's kind of looking a little sickly, so we'll just paint in some mud around here. It's fairly dry. Around like that. in a bigger grass border here. Alright, here is a... Uh approach kind of like that I'm going to put in a small road here that goes around the slough goes into the farmyard like that. Okay, so we have to get rid of that one tree. If we can here. going through all those trees and there's a big one that I gotta get rid of because it's not supposed to be there. So we got that there. Uh, let's see what else can we do with this. Right up here, we usually have a dirt road that goes from. Well, it should be painted in grass because it's grass. Right about here. Should paint it all grass through here. It's just like this right here.
kind of curves like that. And this road should come actually over here, so. It shouldn't be very big either. It should come out like this. And into the farmyard like that. Let's paint grass there for now. this all in the grass because that's what's seated there man Just like that. I could take a tractor and plow this up and seed it, but I, that's not the point of this video. I just want to make the farm actually look white, like what it's hopefully going to look like someday. Just to show you guys. Adding details is pretty important. Now for painting, we have some cement slabs. There's about four of them. Right about here. In the middle of the field. Because we used to have grain bins right here. You can't get too close to the cedar, so it's kind of chewed up around there like that. Let's put a dirt border around here, like rough. Kind of like that. There was an old fence line that used to run along there, which I still may put in. Bar bar fence along here. If I can find a good fence pack. Which there are some are out there. <coughs> okay, so that's that. Along here is a 
seeded grass as well, kind of a field kind of uh, shoots off this way and goes around like this until it gets to about here and it curves like this and along with that. We'll make this border like that. Now from here, this is the edge. This is the edge. Yeah, we have to go continue this like this. If I were to guess, there's the... There's, yeah, I made the feel way too small. But anyways, right over here, yes, Yeah, right about here. I'm going to punch another hole. Smoothing this out. There's another slough here. There's not much water in it either. Let's smooth that out like that. And along here. There's some trees. We'll just use the maple trees again. I'll run right along here like that. Now this isn't to scale, but it's uh, quite close. I mean, basically... Yeah, because I made this smaller... Our hayfield would start right here and go all the way this way around this slough here and curve around this way like that. And all this is going to be barley next year. So that's how that's going to work. Now if I, I could actually do this better if I included this field in it but we'll just leave that there and you know around here there's trees too kinda like that and then it goes this way Uh, decoration, yeah, we need those uh, another set of fuel tanks. Boy, boy, hour and a half, we're just about done. Except we haven't added any equipment yet.
which we're going to do here pretty quick. Oh, we need our yard light as well. I'll put that in. Our yard light in real life sits right about. Well, we'll put it right there. It's about as close as I can get it. And over here we have a yard light. We used to have one for the uh, silo area. We'll put that in. Oh, we used to have a yard light down here where this pole is. It was a power box. There's two poles. There's one here supplied power and there was a light down here somewhere as well it used to be right about there so and we used to have a light for the uh, cattle area it was tied to a, one of these posts here somewhere When you walk through here, it was kind of right there, so put that there. Okay, so now, yeah, fuel tanks. Those sit right about Right about there. And of course there's some junk laying around. I love doing stuff like this. Yeah, right about here. I'm gonna turn around here. There's more junk. like that it's an old frame of a old trailer we used to have there that's a good uh, good I could just put this like that Solar panel, radio tower, wooden fence. I know there's some old bricks here somewhere. Those are up here. Uh, yeah, there's a pile of bricks here. Um, metal sheet pile.
stuff like that. The stones, we don't have any stones. Car tires, there's lots of those laying around. Up by dad's car shed, there's tons of them. Post box, tourist pole, dolphin, grill. There's no grill down here. <laughs> Wheelbarrow decoration. This one be for my sister in law. She's got flowers in here you can put some flowers around the house too so. my mom always had a lot of flowers around <coughs> plastic barrier parasol lamp outhouse stump Trunk set. I don't know what that is. Details. You know, I'll put this right in front here somewhere. Else. I like that. Wooden planks. I do that. Kind of like that. Trash set. I was put it up by the uh, by the dump here. It's supposed to go in the hole though, but. Uh, you get the idea. <laughs> I'm going to put some more around here. Stuff like that. There's probably almost out of slots here no still got some left for the equipment <laughs> saw table well that's definitely uh, right here right about there now we should get rid of some of this um, weedy area here so that's, this is all grass through here it's not uh, canola, that's for sure. Can leave some canola so it looks like weeds. This is all grass through here. This is not perfectly to scale. It's just to show you guys what what it would look like, kind of. If you guys seen um, some of my videos, then uh, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. My real life videos. 
So. Okay, what's next? It's getting to be nighttime again. So we added in some detail there. Uh, this weekend, the bracket for the uh, 1370 is laying right here. I'm going to take some video of that being loaded onto the tractor in real life. And our forks are right here. We're not going to put those on. We're just going to leave those there over the winter. And... Uh, our 4690 is at the neighbor's shop, but we're going to get that and bring it to the farm here as soon as it's ready. So, let's buy some equipment. We have four tractors on the farm. One's broke down and does not work anymore. One small tractor needs its injection pump done, or Oliver 880. Our 1370 is running, and our 4690 is at the mechanic shop, so it, we're in bad shape. <laughs> uh, let's just use this tractor as our 1030 case. Let's go with that. So that should be sitting at the shop there for us. I better save too, so. <coughs> okay, so we got that bot. Um, let's see what else here. I was thinking about using this for our 1370 if I can get it looking white. Uh, no, there's no white color on there at all. No, it's just not going to cut it. Now, there's no white on here whatsoever. Uh, let's try something else then. We could use a Valtra. Or something similar. I don't know what else, what other kind of tractors can change color on. You know, white. white with red rims I mean that's about as close as I'm gonna get to a our 1370 really is like nothing else is gonna really cut it but it's not even a two-wheel drive so um, what do we got large tractors here of course we got this one Uh, 4490 which we have a 4690 in real life and um, it's got more than 210 horsepower so let's go with the 2870 our tractor does not have 300 horsepower though so 212 300 
What's that funny breather thing on the... That looks ridiculous. Let's just go with this because it's... Yeah. And our tractor does not have front weights on it. It's about as close as we're going to get. Yeah, let's go with the 4490, I guess. Buy that. Okay, back to small tractors. This will represent our uh, 880 Oliver. I'll buy that. Actually, one of these tractors would be better represent our uh, 1030 case we have. Oops. Uh, it's supposed to have red rims, but we'll just go with that. Yeah. It's got some pretty serious fenders on it. Uh, doesn't have any weight on it. It's just an old broken down tractor, so... We'll go with it. Okay, so there's our four tractors. This represents our 1030 case, which is the motor is basically uh, blown. The 880 Oliver, which will still run with some injection work on its pump. Our 4690, which is at our neighbor's shop which is uh he's a mechanic and he's working on it currently and i guess we'll just go with this as our 1370 and it says 1300 there it doesn't look anything like our tractor but it's about the same size same horsepower so let's just go with that Okay. Now everything should be able to pull something um pull something home. We're going to use this as a representation of our little John Deere cultivator. by that it's like a chisel plow really but we put uh, big sweeps on it our cultivator gotta go with Borgo man that's what we got
it's not quite this model that's for sure it's an older model but it is a Borgo cultivator so that's what we're going to go with a disc uh, let's see here six meters our disc is a little bit bigger than that it's more like this Um, but it's probably more, yeah, probably, we probably should go with this. It's probably more kind of what it looks like. Not quite that funky, but ah, I don't know. Our disc doesn't look anything like that either. Our tractor couldn't even pull this <laughs> disc. So we'll go with uh, what about this one? Yeah, that's no, it's not right either. We'll go with this. Okay, so we got our cultivator, we got our disker, and we got our plow kind of figured out uh, we do have a pull type sprayer so we're gonna get one of those um, that's about as close as gonna get uh, it's nothing that can change color on here I don't think so We'll just go with that for our spare. Just to put it into place of where it is on the map in real life. Okay, so let's ha let's haul something home. Now what could this pole? Probably the sprayer. We could try to pull a disc with it, but I don't know. Oh yeah, it'll pull it. Yeah, we're running out of daylight here. So we'll skip night here. I'll go to sleep. Let's go 12 hours. I don't care if we have millions in the bank or not. It's not what this is about. I might as well turn down time. So we'll bring this to the farm first. And we'll just cut across the country here. The thirteen seventy will pull our disc, but it will not pull it in the ground. And it doesn't have enough hydraulic power to actually lift up the wings, so We'll be realistic here and we'll unfold it and pull it like that. It's exactly the way I pulled it when we moved it last week out of the grass. <laughs> Our disc does not have this tank on the back, of, but it does have the uh, crisscross of the discs there. Nothing in the back. So. And there is a disc similar on the mod hub I forgot to download it but uh, we'll just go with this for now just I can't get every all of my our equipment exactly because uh, not even a quarter of it is even on the mod hub so probably is on PC but 
close enough. It's just a representation. Uh, we don't, there's no gleaner combines on console either, and we have an N5 gleaner, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. Probably just to get a Massey combine and stick it in the shed and then go with that. This disc is a little bit smaller than ours for sure. But it's, um, when we did pull it out of the grass, so it was uh, right across the road here on this field. And I was sitting right by the approach. I'll just uh, quickly... Uh, paint in an approach here right across the road here we have a, an approach that goes into this field here like this and over here is a big sand hill and stuff like that we used to have a, there's trees there's a bush around here which I, I should really uh, put in soon here but um, the disc was sitting right here in the grass for about five years. And we hooked onto it just like this in real life. Pulled it right out of the grass like, just like right, right like this. It was sitting right there, right across the road from our place all that time hooked up to it pulled it like this turned and took it down the road just like that exactly how it went in real life. I pulled it into this approach right here. And went right around the slough. Just like that. Uh, this is our field as well. So we were just we were going through a uh, barley stubble. And we pulled in through the field border through some tall grass just like this. And where it sits in real life is right about here. That's where it sits in real life. So now over the weekend, in real life, which is going to be a video coming, I'm going to have to take this tractor. position it right about here put the snow blade bracket on now well, this can take the plow home I guess no I guess we'll go with this we'll take the sprayer 
home with this so I can park in its final resting place. I don't know, one day I'm just probably going to see if I can get rid of this tractor for scrap or case 1030. I don't even know if it still would ever run. I think the motor might be seized. I'm not sure. But, um... is going to be able to uh, pull this plow. Success. I'll be right back there guys in a few minutes I'm just going to go for a quick smoke be right back Okay, so I'll pull this on. This tractor I'd never pull this cultivator in real life, but uh, it's a good representation of what we have. 40 foot four row cultivator. country here again. Let's see if we can get it home. I 
I could have went the long way around, but um, this way would be faster for you guys. <coughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while, but uh, just never had, uh, you know, a good old case tractor like this to uh, do something like this. Uh, I don't have everything I need, but I've got a couple things that are pretty close. So I figured I'd give it a shot. here we used to own so we don't anymore we own that field and that field over there Cultivator sets in real life. One folded. I don't think this tractor would even pull this cultivator. She's struggling. Three miles an hour. Okay, let's go put this to where it was by the shop. Before it went bye-bye um, to the mechanic's place. like that. Alright, let's get some more equipment home. We'll go the long way around this time. It's funky on this track. We just look sideways. I don't know why. That's odd. Well, this is a good representation of Saskatchewan, anyway, so. here. And we'll turn on our road. And lots more to do to uh, get the uh, farm in shape. You now this is where we would turn. I'm 
supposed to be the edge of the hayfield right up ahead here. Like I said, it's not the scale. I just uh, cut it off there to block off uh, those other buildings there. This is just... Um, So this would be the edge of our property right here. This would be a hayfield till right about halfway right here. Straight across that way and then this part curves around and all that will be barley. It's definitely not to scale but uh, if that everything was wide open then the person could really do a good job and here I'm not finished yet because uh, actually we can do that right now um, right here there's a Kind of a massive hole here. Let's put some grass there. It's all dried up in here, so the hole isn't this deep, but it's just a, like I said, a representation. Of what it would kind of look like. In the farming simulator world. Kind of like that. Smooth on all this out. So it's not so rough and ugly looking. It does go down there quite a ways, but definitely not this deep. But it's kind of a bowl down here. With just some uh, weeds and uh, down trees. It completely got destroyed by water. So that cleans that up a bit. I'll get this sprayer into place where it is in real life. This pole is not in the middle of the road either. It's just the way it worked out. And um, that pole is solid. So we'll just go around that. spirit where it is and let's put this tractor away to where it, it is in real life and it's right about here This track is right on the edge. Right about here is where it sits in real life. Now our 
Oliver. A uh, little John Deere plow here. Come on, Oliver. You can do it. Cut across country here. I think I'll uh, spawn in the uh, combine a few items like some uh, conveyor belts to represent our uh, augers and a few other items. Get those into position. And a baler and there's a seed tank and our grain trucks. A couple other vehicles dot around and uh, shouldn't be too much longer. We'll have her uh, just about finished. going on two hours and 12 minutes here so and a lot more trees to add in details um, minor things this uh, Oliver we used to use for a square bailing and to uh, run our uh, PTO driven auger and we also had a right currently it has a small small sprayer on the back bit for spraying weeds around the yard um, it could also pull a small hay rake and uh, stuff like that so Drop this off where I put it in real life, put it away for the winter. One day I imagine we'll be dragging it out again. Um, just never know. It's got some real heavy sweeps on it. It's good for tearing up something. there I guess and the Oliver currently sits right like that perfect man that just looks like home Unreal. It's getting getting close. Getting close. Uh bailing technology. Uh, uh let's see here. We have a Vicon baler. I'm just gonna buy this just for uh representation because we do have a Vicon baler in real life. It's an old Vicon baler, it does not have the uh wrapper on the back, but you guys get the idea. So, we'll buy that. And we do have four augers. I'm going to get those and put those in a position. <coughs> we'll just uh, get it closer here.
reset that to the Welker farm there. Um, we'll go pick it up with this tractor. Represents our 1370 in real life, which is about as close as I can get. So go put the baler in place. there at an empty Welker farm yard. Not far to go. I gotta buy some trucks. Should get those bought and spawned over here as soon as I can. Let me just get this baler in place. It's one thing we're gonna have to work on uh, this spring. Dig it out of the grass, clean it up, see what's broken, if anything, oil it up, grease it up, should be just fine, we hope. My dad said it still works and he said it's slow, but um, we'll still make round bales, so that's, that's all I care about. Got that nice dip there. That's exactly what our farmyard has in real life. There's kind of an incline here before you get into the main yard. So let's put this baler away. We'll cut through here. And make a little road here. So we usually cut across like this in real life to this yard here where we put our equipment away. The baler sits right about... right about there in real life. That I'm just going to do a little uh, painting here. Right from here, there's a goes like that. Why my dad had to make a fire break uh, this spring. I had to take the cultivator through there. <laughs> kind of like that. Oh, 
Oh yes, our cedar. We gotta get our cedar. And conveyors. So let's buy those. Yes. Well, close enough. Six meter, you know. That's about 12 feet. We need two of them. So then it'll look like our cedar. <laughs> <coughs> okay, now we need four conveyor belts. We have one green one. And three red ones. And we still have enough slots left. And another thing we have to get is uh, trucks. And we're going to get... Um, three trucks like this. And you get one like that. I think we'll leave it gray out for our old international. Tires are bald as hell on that thing, so we'll just leave it like that. One of those. Our yellow truck. Which has got a red box on it, but we'll make it brown. That's about as best as I can do with that. Okay. We have an old blue truck sitting there. It's dark blue. And the box will make gray for faded paint. That's sitting down beside the uh, baler. Okay, so we got our conveyors, cedar, trucks. We're getting close, and then we just have to buy a, a couple swather heads, swather, and a set of harrows, and that's about it. So I might as well get this over here so I can start hauling things. 
we'll drive the trucks over into place. Fifteen miles an hour, are you kidding? That's only three miles slower than the 13.7 can actually go in real life, so. Not too bad, not too bad. Not far to go anyway. Oops. Okay, I'll transport some of this stuff over. Uh, this. There should be a way to connect these, I think. Ah, uh, I can't remember how to do it. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Well, this is not how we haul our cedars together. I'm just going to park them side by side so it looks the way it does in real life. So. It's a different type of hitch setup, um, so. But we have two 9350s and these are 8350s. Very similar to this. Person would have to haul it this, pull it this way, to get the uh, correct. <coughs> um, width. our real life representation so
There we go. Cedar's in place. Now we're going to haul all the conveyors home. Four of them. And amazingly, we still have slots left. Which is good. one up by the cattle area and three down the hill one by the uh, hopper bottom silo and that's of course we don't have conveyors we have augers in real life but uh, I guess, yeah it's just a, a representation The augers that are mods in the game are way too small, and they don't look right. So. I'm going to put this one up by the cattle area first. It sits way back here. Kind of like right there. But in real life it faces the other way, so let's spin it around here.
I'll drive over there and drive some grain trucks home. That's really bugging me. I got to, to do this real fast. Um, decoration. I'm going to put in some uh, trees here. Yeah, that's kind of how that goes. There's no trees along here, but there's a couple small little tufts of bush there. There's another s little tiny slough here. So. Just cutting across this field because it's easier. And it won't be so long for you guys to watch. So it's just a quick way of doing it. I wish we had a 70 series case in the game, but we don't, so I'm just uh, using this tractor as a representative. I can't do it exactly the same. But it's the only white cab tractor I could find. Alright, green truck. Now this truck represents our 1962 International. Which hauls our water. And it always is parked right in real life, right here. It's really uh, steep. I'll just put it flat like that. Close enough. This is our 1980 International, which was one of our grain trucks. I couldn't get a red box on this truck, but uh, close enough. It's red and rusty. And this currently is behind the shop. And it needs some engine work. So. In real life, it sits right about here. And this truck is, a, I mean, truck is a 1950 model. I think it's a Ford, and it sits downhill with the uh, our other boneyard, and it doesn't run. I don't think it would need a lot of work probably to get it to run. So it belonged to my uncle. And he was just storing it at our place, and uh, now it belongs to my auntie, I think. And uh, it, uh, I don't think it'll ever run again. Okay, now I'm trying to remember is the, oh yeah. Is the truck beside the baler? Or is the... Oh yeah, it's on this side. Ok, 
kind of sits like that. And then the, uh, uh, fertilizer tank is right in between. So maybe I should move this over in here more so we can squeeze that in there. It's all pretty tight in here, so. Like I said, it's just a representation of where our equipment is in real life. Um, in front of the baler right now is I'm gonna is an old swather, and then there's another auger right here, and then there's an old half ton that goes right here. So. Back to the farm we go. Almost finished here for the night. Got a couple more things I want to do before I shut down the live stream. So if you're watching, uh, feel free to tag along for the next uh, 15, 20 minutes or so. This is just a representation. It's kind of, yeah, it's what my farm looks like in real life. not finished yet by no means but uh, it's getting there it's starting to look like something you know the cement pads over there on the hayfield Not all of this is to scale by no means, but uh, it's getting it's getting pretty close. I really, really tried hard on this jog in my memory. I'm, I'm there all the time, so it wasn't uh, very difficult to uh, do this build, but it's been fun. Now this auger sits on this side of the silo. kind of crooked but we'll, we'll put it straight here and it sits like kind of like that in real life right about there and of course this grass is all uh, freshly seeded this spring I just painted grass in there so it looked nice. It would look nice all cultivated too, but and of course there's not canola there in real life is all seeded to grass and then uh, up to a point I'll show you um, and it basically gets cut off right about here and right down down the hill to here it's all seeded gra to grass here so I should paint in some grass here and all this will be seeded to up to here will be seeded to barley right about there I could have made this field way bigger, which I should have, but with these buildings in the way, it just wouldn't work. So I just made the scale smaller. 
so but the field's way bigger it should be like way over here where the edge of it is and this should be our hay field and this should be all barley so but uh yeah it's coming along so we got another conveyor to grab here and get that into position the other two augers go over behind those trees over there and we'll grab those real fast definitely gonna have some more videos coming this winter uh, we got new lights ordered for the shop in real life it's a real life video coming up uh, real soon on that and putting our snow bracket on our 1370 case so stay tuned for that on this channel and uh, stuff like that so this is only the beginning I do a lot of I don't I do some farming simulator videos too like the live streams like this so trying to fit the best of both worlds in here so I said I went with Welka Farms it's nice and flat it's it's a good representation of Saskatchewan <laughs> because Saskatchewan is quite flat but and lots of space and nothing in the way so I could have went with flat map, but I think uh, flat map is too flat. So. This is auger number three. So I'll just bring this into the position. I'll show you where did all these go in real life, where they are currently sitting. trying to get it as close as I can um, things don't look exactly the same but uh, definitely recognizable uh, features when you watch some of my real life videos you say hey I know that spot so feel free to do that Coming into the main yard. It was difficult to get the spacing right, but uh, with collisions and stuff like that, so I had to uh, kind of juggle things around to where everything's going to fit and stuff like that, so. This auger is right here, beside the cedar, and then our green auger is going to go right over here, right here. I haven't even brought our swather in yet. I'm going to put our swather right there. That's where it sits in real life. And i got to get our hay rake. And our harrows. Yeah, there's still some stuff to bring over. Uh, where's that other... Yeah, I got to buy one more conveyor. It's kind of a slime green one. No, not like that. Um, it's 
kind of a... Eh, yeah, I'll go with that. Close enough. It's actually half red and half green. It was pieced together. Just an old auger. So we'll get that over to uh, the reset point. driveway I made a little bit too wide but that's okay let's drive over and get our last auger We have to get our combine and swather. Figure out what else. So hay rake. Yes, yeah, so we have three red augers and one green one. <laughs> Oops. Up we go. You have any questions, comments? Feel free to fire away. He's like, Donnie, what the heck are you doing? He's like, Well, I'm making my farm. He's trying to, anyway. Just seeing what it would look like. That's all. That part of the driveway kind of went wonky on me. Doing stuff like this, uh, it's going to help me uh, probably learn on how to organize our equipment better in the future. But I mean, sometimes we have to do stuff like this because um, like this spot example, it's a high spot. And uh, we don't want everything to get flooded out with water here. Because uh, for five years, half our farm was underwater. And it wasn't good. Not fun. tractor at the moment. So I'm just going to put it there. Next up. Uh, now we don't have 
a Rasta Mash Swather. But this is about as close as I get. I'm not putting a, uh, a green swather on our track. Uh, our, our swather is red. Okay. So that's just a representation of it, of where it's going to be on, on in real life. So bear with me. I mean, if you took the cab off and made it a bit smaller, then, yeah, it would start to look like our swather, so. Okay, now. We need its header. And that's, and mowers. Let's get these reset. Let's put this into place. I think this swath is going to sit right where it is all winter. Um, we didn't move it from that spot. I, I don't know why. Um, my dad maybe just, just wants to leave it there. Beside the old grain truck here. It doesn't really need any work done to it, but... Uh, That's about where our swath sits in real life. A much smaller swather. Well, the head's a little bit smaller than that, but it's, you know, it's an old Wren um, swather with no cab on it. So. Just gonna touch up this little area over here. Kinda like that. Now if a person was put it put in the you know, this is basically how it this is all grass through here. This a person could put a little, you know, little road trail through here, kind of like this. Once we start driving over it, lots. And then another tire track here, kind of like that. And 
then of course we use kind of a, a skinny little path through here. Like if you were really driving over at lots, you'd, you'd be able to see a path through here anyway, so you kind of like that. And then kind of a path through here. Like that. Okay, what else we got to put in? A couple more old half tons. There's a blue one. Two of them. A one black one, actually. So by that, those are broke down, and they got to go to the boneyard. <coughs> Uh, my brother's truck, which is dark blue like that, kind of. That's going to go in the shop right now. It's getting its engine worked on. In my truck. So if I was coming from, then this would be headed south. Actually. In real life. here I know we park right about here or up front there okay this is uh, yeah, my brother's truck it's gotta go in the shop because it's busted and not running yet but we're hopefully gonna get it running this weekend so let's put that in the shop. I'm starting to get a few little tiny details done here.
Yeah, it's actually more like that in the shop. This building is... This truck is not to scale to where, you know, this seems like the accurate size for a shop, but this seems way too big. But I suppose we have a bench, you know, that comes out like this and all the other crap inside of it. All of our tools and stuff, so. Yeah, it's hard to put things close together. I found out like this. This big wide space should not be here. This should be like right here. So I kind of goofed on that. But then the scale of where this is and this is, it's, it's really tight through here and you have to walk through this little path through here to get to the house, right? So this would be the back porch where you walk in and take off your boots. And there's a little sidewalk here and this is where you put the water in with the water truck. Around here is the deck and then you walk into the house and say, hi dad. Kind of like that. And then there's also uh, details I can put in here because there's right through right through here there's a wood stack which I could probably do right now in decorations. And uh, there's a little uh, woodshed here. Where the f wood stove goes. Be a little path through here. Like that. It must be all kind of brown through here. Kind of more wood chippy like this. Yeah, so there's that little detail. Broken down trucks for decoration. Yeah, there's a black one and a blue one, I believe. I'm going to put these where they're supposed to be. This one goes beside the sprayer. The other one goes beside the uh, baler.
Oh, this is the black one. So, no, this, this goes by the uh, by the spray right now. Broke down. That's definitely one of the longer uh, live streams I've done in the past, but uh, I think my longest one is almost four hours, so. Just trying to add what little detail I can to. Uh, show you guys what it's, what it's like. Now we got one, add, one thing to add here in Cedars. I wish you could change colors on things. It's a big pet peeve of mine. We have a tank like this, but it's brown. And the it's actually still half full of fertilizer. It's homemade. But uh yeah, you know, this is as close as we can get to it, so Let's go for it. Now I gotta figure out what oh yeah. Haul it over where haul it over there with the four wheel drive tractor he has. I'm going to keep working on this. And, uh, see what else I can come up with. Let's 
check uh, weeders. What do you got for weeders? Mm, nothing that good. Uh, this would be the closest thing at 60 feet. That would resemble anything. Was, there's no diamond heroes. Kind of our packers. Like, so. Look at that as well. And I'll show you where we put those in real life. smoke so I'm gonna take a few minute break I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. If you are uh, watching this later, just fast forward over that part. <laughs> Let's put all the second last piece to the puzzle. Uh, of course, we don't have our, our hay rake.
should be flatter there, but um, that's the way it turned out. The ground is uneven there anyways, but um, it is flatter up there than that. are not like this in real life, as you guys should know if you watched any of my real life videos. But this is about as close as I could get. Our heroes have packers on the back and diamond heroes rather than these uh, tying heroes. But it's just a representation. Oh, how the farm looks. Kind of, in real life. And how it looks. In layer 19. It's really cool, I think. It just feels like home. I can't wait to show this to my dad. I think he'll be pretty impressed. I hope he is, anyway. This tractor we have used to use uh, to haul and all the harrows before and the harrows are right down here on the edge of uh, this field here right about here so we'll get them unfolded
we have a four wheel hay rake so it'll only be like four of those wheels instead of eight that's about as close as gonna get in the game so we'll buy that Those up, put them where they need to be. will be it for the live stream. I'm getting tired. But I had a lot of fun doing this build. And um, anybody watches later, you know, leave a comment, give a like, subscribe. And, um, oh, the combine, we forgot the combine. But, minor detail, that's our N5 Gleaner, which is in the, uh, Quonset there down the hill. We actually had to tow our hay rake from just over there out of this field in real life the other day. It was sitting uh, almost in water. But we got her hauled home. I hauled it down the road just like this. I'm missing uh, a couple square balers and that's about it. That's all I can think of really. Um, down there there's a couple of smaller cultivators that are we gotta pull out of the pond there but uh, this is about as close as I'm going to get, I think, to our farm. And I'm pretty sure I pulled the hay rate right out here. Yeah, I dropped her here. So in our next real life video, you'll see this tractor parked right here. I'm getting that snow blade bracket put on. The forks for it are right here. I may add that detail in after and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Can I climb up here? Yeah.
There we go. I'm going to move this truck to a flatter location because that looks ridiculous. That's usually where we park it. And then of course um, our snow blade in real life on the farm is right about here. It's blue, about eight feet long. And yeah, that's about it, folks. Thanks for watching. I just made my farm become a reality in Farming Simulator 19. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. More real life videos coming up. And uh, I'm able to do something on this build here. Add in more detail, do a little bit of cultivating around, and uh, explain more about what's going to happen in the future. Alright, bye for now, guys.